Um, mm. Let's segue into another topic that we were uh, talking about prior, um, and that is um, Google Ads, once the leads are generated, and our job as the agency that's driving traffic and leads, um, our job kind of stops at that point. Um, let's talk about the focus of companies having a sales process and answering the phone and that kind of stuff. So, Nick, I know this is a topic you are extremely passionate about. Um, so if you've got your, uh, if you can flip over your whiteboard in the back and, and show us your, uh, your Glen Gary, Glen, Glen, Glen right. yeah, exactly. The so leads walk, week. Through, walk through sales process, walk through, okay, the lead's been generated. Now what? Yeah. So I'll, I'll start this with, I will, uh, once this post on YouTube, I'll, I'll post the Glen Gary, Glen Ross clip. So everybody can see that. Uh, I've sent that several times to, um, to clients, uh, when they come back and say the leads aren't good or the leads are weak leads aren't weak. You're just not doing your job. Um, ultimately, our, our, our gigs, when people ask us in public, what do we do for a living? I'm an internet traffic broker. So my job is to find you the best traffic at the best price and then deliver that to your website, which generates leads. And then after that, I'm done, right? Um, <clears throat> too often, we have clients that don't have the sales process in place or don't have their follow-ups in place. Uh, so we'll do our best to, to point them in the right direction to, there might be some great coaches out there in the real estate world. There might be some follow-up systems that they can implement <clears throat> into their, into their CRM. That's a plug and play. Um, but we always tell them speed, uh, speed kills. And if somebody comes and fills out that form on your site, they're, you know, I can show you on analytics that they are there for eight to 10 minutes. You have an opportunity to call them while they're looking at a house on the website. Uh, if you, if you do not take that opportunity, then you're just telling us that you don't want to make money. Right. Um, but yeah, we, we have, we have a pretty, we've gotten to the point at, at our, at our company where if we have a sales call with somebody or an exploratory call, we don't really even call them sales calls, but if we're talking with somebody and they sound like they're a little green, uh, on this follow-up or they haven't done internet leads before, then we tell them there's some stuff you should have in place before you start throwing cash out, out the window, because, We'll know, we know we can generate you leads and I can show you that these leads that you're going to be getting are the same leads, you know, same style leads. Somebody, you know, your peer is getting in a city in similar size. They're making a lot of money. That doesn't, that doesn't guarantee you're going to make money. You have to have a good follow-up. So um, we try to help them, you know, help steer them. If they sound like they just don't know what they're doing, we'll tell them out, outright, you should get your systems in place before you come work with us. Um, but that's another reason we do no contracts where it's month to month, you come and go as you please. Because if I dump a hundred leads on your plate and you tell me you didn't get a hold of any of them, that's an issue. Um, if you tell me those leads are, are terrible, that's an issue in this market. And in you know, the way we've seen it for the last few years, if you're not getting on the phone with people, if you're not able to communicate with anybody, um, then, then there's, it's the problem isn't us. The problem, it's not the faucet. It's the, uh, it's the strainer that you've got underneath there. It's, it's straining everything out. Got it. Dustin, how about you? So uh, I, I kind of tend to look a little bit further down the funnel when I can. Like I realized that for the most part, it's Google Ads agency or whatever, or if we're running Facebook ads or whatever, because we do a little bit of both um, in, in Microsoft, is that, yeah, I think that our main job is getting traffic to, con to convert the best that we can at the lowest cost possible for the highest volume within the budget. And of course, as much quality control as we can do on the front end. <clears throat> I tend to look at the back end a little bit too, and just try to make sure that things are playing out according to what we think and look for themes, right? Maybe we're getting a bunch of calls or something that's similar to what we do, but we don't do it. Okay, let's get rid of that. Or since we do e-commerce clients as well, or we still have a lot from before, um, sometimes like products don't convert for whatever reason. Now, I think the big difference is like Nick said, I mean, you have to be on the follow-up, right? So if we're talking leads, you need to do your part, have systems in place, have processes. We, we actually use a system that will automatically text somebody if you miss their call or when they fill out a contact form, we'll automatically text them. They have to be able to use, you know, the software to respond or they can do it in other ways. But the point of it is, is I'm trying to make it harder for them to fail in that regard, but at the end of the day, I can't take somebody to a sale, right? I can't, I'm not booking their appointment. That's on them. So I'm trying to do my best to kind of work within that realm and offer a little bit more help where it's, where it's reasonable to do so because I know how valuable it is. Um, 
But at the end of the day, like the other thing we forget is like for home services and for local, this is maybe a little bit less of the case, but I know for e-commerce, this is definitely a big deal, which is your offer. Like what is the reason somebody should reach out to you? Because what happens is I find for newer advertisers, or maybe it's a niche that's not really as solidified. If you don't have something of value for people, it doesn't matter what you do on the traffic side, right? Like if you can send a bunch of people to a crappy offer and it's going to, it's going to suck. Right. It doesn't matter how good the ads are, it doesn't matter what bid strategy you use, the offer sucks. You could have a really good offer and a mediocre traffic person and get decent results because the offer is so good. So I think in terms of conversion, um, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I think as PPC guys, sometimes like the burdens put on us to make somebody's stuff convert. Right. Well, I can't make your stuff convert. I guess your job to make it a converting service, offer, product, value proposition. My job is to get it in front of the people who are most likely to do that converting, right? And at a cost that will hopefully back into where you need to be. But I do find that a lot of times people who hire cool ads agencies expect that you have this magic landing page that's going to magically turn this person who just, you know, they just can't resist your, your service or your product now because of the way you did it. And it's, a, and it's just totally a disconnect from reality. And that's something that I think from a conversion standpoint, you know, people should bear in mind that, you know, this is a team effort, right? You have a business with a product or service, and we're going to get you the best quality traffic the internet has at this moment, which is people looking for whatever that is. And we're going to try to connect you. And sometimes if they don't want to buy, you might want to rethink not just, you know, the traffic side, but also where are they going? What's the offer they're seeing? How are you handling that, that lead or that follow-up or, or whatnot? So I think that there's, there's definitely more to the story than just what we do on the traffic side. Now, as an agency, like Nick said, that might be all you're engaging with us for, but as a business owner, you got to be thinking further down the line than just, right. oh, it's a traffic guy's problem because these people who look for my service specifically in my area didn't want to buy from me. Well, they're going to buy from somebody. It's not, they're, they're definitely going to buy. It's not from you. So why is that? That's just what I'm saying.